Hello there, good morning. The number of people diagnosed with cancer here is expected to rise by a quarter by 2040. That's once to government demands that they protect education as local authorities prepare for a round of budget cuts. Teachers strike over pay. Looks to be auctioned today despite a row over its authenticity. It's 25 past eight, so I hope you can join us then. Bye-bye. The headlines on Reporting Scotland this Friday lunchtime. Hello there, good afternoon. The number of people diagnosed with cancer here is expected to rise by a quarter by 2040. That's according to analysis from the leading charity Cancer Research UK, who say the health service needs to be equipped to deal with a growing and ageing population. The Scottish Government says its new strategy will look at improving cancer care from prevention through to treatment. Suzanne Allen has more. Suzanne Allen reporting there. One of Sheikh Ubayo's friends has said he was portrayed as an enormous, intimidating, drug fueled maniac in the days after he died in police custody. An 89-year-old man has died in hospital after he was knocked down by a cyclist in Linlithgow. To rugby now, and Scotland's Six Nations campaign kicks off tomorrow with the Calcutta Cup. Gregor Townsend's side are hoping to make it three wins in a row against England. Our sports news correspondent Chris McLaughlin sent this report from Twickenham. And lastly, while most of us were tucking into our Christmas dinners, a group of amateur rowers from Edinburgh were making their way unaided across the mighty Atlantic Ocean. They've faced massive waves, sleep deprivation and pain in their 39-day journey. Joanne McCauley caught up with them after they arrived back home in Portobello. And now it's time to take a look at your weather forecast and here's Joy Dunlop. And that's all from us for now. We'll be back with all of your news, sport and weather during Reporting Scotland at 6.30 tonight. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a lovely afternoon. Bye for now.